Let's get our hands dirty with a new model from China. Hey there, welcome back. We have a new competition for ChatGPT. A new player in the game, DeepSig R1 reasoning model. I mean, DeepSig in general. DeepSig is a great model. It comes, it comes from China and it's here to create a great rivalry between these two uh, companies that create and provide us with beautiful AI solutions. So DeepSig, DeepSig is a new uh, AI model they're just published, open, uh, open source. Uh, today's video's topic, let's just take a look at how that works and how we can use it. And also, we can also use the ChatGPTs. I mean, I'm still saying ChatGPTs because I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of ChatGPTs, OpenAI's API. But when it comes to competition, I love competition. When, whenever there's a new model and uh, there's new and better model, I will not stick on the ChatGPT anymore. I'm not a, maybe I'm not a loyal customer, right? But that's how it works. You need, to keep, you need to make me a recurring customer by publishing some new updates, new features, whatever. So let's just cut to the chase and let's just get straight at the point. So th this is the interface of DeepSeek where you can actually choose the reasoning model which is DeepThink R1 and search on the web is actually available too, available too. So we will look at the, one of the examples that I found this model is way better than ChatGPT. On that matter, uh, I was actually asking some electromagnetic uh, questions to help me out because since my major in electrical engineering, I need to I need to solve some questions about this topic, about this topic in this field, whatever. So I asked the same questions to ChatGPT and also DeepSeek R1 reasoning model. Oh, by the way, I asked it to O1 model, which is the, the OpenAI's reasoning model. So the results were different and the correct one was actually uh, the one that DeepSeek gave me, so, which is impossibly great because, you know, the Chinese Asian guys are actually good at math. It's not a shocker for anyone in this pla on this planet Earth that Asians are good at math. So that why it's a logical chain. So their AI model will be also good at math, right? This says that for 70 seconds and the result that just gave me I mean not just uh, I asked it like yesterday or something anyway the result game and the, result, the deep sleep model game is, is the correct one when we compared the open AI's response which is incorrect uh, and the problem was actually not that hard you, were ju you, you, you need to just compute the curl of the vector to find the answer or whatever like even though it's just so easy ChatGPT wasn't able to do that it wasn't able to execute the mathematical operations to find the solution yeah DeepSeek did a great job here find the answer so right now we will just also take a look at the other functions DeepThink R1 uh, I use here DeepThink uh, R1 the reasoning model here as you can see you, you, you can see the like thinking uh, reasoning chain logical chain reasoning chain here as you can see it's actually instantly I mean not instantly consecutively just giving the inputs I mean uh, taking the inputs and uh, just giving the outputs to the another another reasoning model I think inside of the model and that consecutive actions is just lead the model to the uh, correct solution the best solution in some uh, in some in such cases so let's just create a new chat and let's just ask what is deep sick artificial intelligence cool. refer to deep sick it's Chinese as, as I, like I said in the beginning of this video is a Chinese company that's gonna make an AGI a reality Wow that's so pretentious but I think they're doing they they're doing a great job so far we can also use a, a deep six API which is available for anyone everyone and it is way cheaper than OpenAI's API and that's another good, good point it's a great advantage and an advantage for indie hackers too because there are tons of different SaaS developers out there they were just creating a great profitable products with AI and everything and their number one their bottom lines for their SaaS application is just OpenAI's API they're just because most of them are just creating ChatGPT wrappers, which is not a bad thing. Uh, 
because it seems like I'm just implying that that shit is a bad thing, but it's not. So if you're creating a chat GPT, uh, just, let's just say AI wrapper, uh, use Deep6 API too, because whenever you just take a look at the API documentation, and uh, you'll understand, uh, you'll understand, you'll comprehend how easy is that to integrate it or just replace your OpenAI's model with the Deep6 model. Let me just show you guys how you can just easily change the change your OpenAI's model to ChatGPT's model. I mean to Deep6 model. So you're using the exact same library while you you are using ChatGPT's OpenAI's API. Here's you can see exact same code snippet. Just copy and paste it and choose the model Deep6 uh, Chat. That's how easy is that? That's it. And you're done. You just adapted your entire SaaS application. Uh, I mean, not adapted. You're just, uh, you adapted the Deep6 API, one of the newest AI models and one of the best models here in the marketplace of AI right now. You just adapted Deep6, uh, Deep6, Deep6 <laughs> to your SaaS application, which is a wrapper application. Not a bad thing, like I said. Yeah, this is how easy is that? And... Uh, you can also create something uh, like chat. Uh, there you go, API guides. You, you you have some guides here, some references like to create a chat complete completion, completions. I'm oh, sorry. And there's some other models too. List models. There you go. I think you can just create easily an API key here just by just uh, going to this section here, just clicking by the API keys and create a new API key, name it, and then you're ready to go. I love it. And yesterday I also met a Chinese guy. Uh, and now we're fast now. And that was it for this video. You can easily use the uh, Deep6 uh, API too to create new applications with AI. And you should take it into consider consideration like if you, whether you're gonna use Deep6 API rather than just using OpenAI's API because it's a really great uh, alternative here they're just creating and it's pretty cheap when you compare it to OpenAI's models almost like double to pro oh shit that was it for this video I'll be creating some new AI applications in my in my Udemy course too if you don't want to miss out uh, check the link in the description for my Udemy courses you can find the link you can find the link in the description oh my ca camera is so laggy doesn't matter uh, doesn't matter for now I will up updating also my camera Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, actually, just thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Let's get our hands dirty with a new model from China. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.